So before you dive into the world of point and clicky engine, you're probably wondering, well, what are the actual benefits of using this? What does it have over other platforms that are out there? And to that, I would say it's mainly because it's web focused. This means that the files are very lean. I just got HTML, JavaScript, and a few other files, but very, very lean. When I looked at Unity, the export files for JavaScript alone were about 30 meg. So very, very big files, way too much for three or four G connection standards. Um, now, although it is web focused, that doesn't stop you from being able to export to other platforms such as Steam, iOS, Android, and so on. If you want to know how to export it to Steam, then you can go to an article on my website, andy-harry.com, go to code help, and there are instructions each step of the way detailing how to convert it all to a single exe file which Steam needs to have. There are other instructions elsewhere on the internet on how to export to iOS and Android. Of course, being web focused as well, that gives you the flexibility to put that on your website so that anyone can play it without needing to download anything. And you can uh, sell it to web game, so you can export it to web, so you can sell it to web game publishers and they'll give you a bit of money for host for being able to have the game on their websites too. So there's many, many benefits of having it through there as it's mainly web focused in the beginning. Other benefits include memory management. When you go from one room to another, the game framework will handle all the assets and garbage collection for you. That's just dealt with all under the hood, nothing you need to be worried about. Of course, you've got the full editor as well. So you can go and manage your rooms, the, your inventory, uh, inventory combos, the music, the credits as well. Every single thing that you would want to manage within the game is managed via the editor. Now, although there is the editor, it doesn't stop you from being able to physically do any of the coding yourself. You can still go into the code files and uh, manipulate the framework yourself. It's absolutely no problem in doing that at all. Now, although I've spent many, many years building this, I've spent about three years building the actual game framework and about another year actually building the editor. Um, I will try and support it as much as I can, um, although I can't guarantee that I can always reply and always make a code change. My intention has been to really get this up to scratch before release and then if people want to make changes to it they can make a change to it so whilst i'll still try and support it as much as i can i can't guarantee uh, it's me because i've have three jobs um, i'm traveling abroad very soon so uh, for for a few years so there's quite a few things that are happening on in my life so hopefully you have some understanding of that uh, just so that you can see where i'm coming from on those side of things but again the point is I'm just trying to issue the game framework out there so it gives you the flexibility to make your own. And of course, have a click through the framework, see if it suits your needs and, and your project uh, before you dive in too deep. And uh, hopefully you'll make something really, really nice.